Okay, so this is the latest basic way that I am using the Flatterer plugin or add-on to create objects for the laser cutter. So my Glowforge. Now what I want to do is I'm going to uh, shift A. I'm going to make a cube actually. So it's going to be pretty straightforward. Uh, I'll make a cube. I'm going to make it four inches by four inches all the way around. There it is right there. And so I use Flatterer. The actual wood I'm going to use is, is I know it's uh, eighth inch, 5.1 millimeter stuff I got from Home Depot. And I'm making this for actually a restaurant cube. So one one side of it's gonna be kind of a uh, blackboard and the rest of it is just gonna be wood. Actually, the, the the blackboard I got from Home Depot, the rest of it I got online, I think on Amazon or something. But anyway, so what I'll do is I'll set this up. My laser width is 0.15. The rest of the stuff is fine. 5.1 is the material thicknesses. Make sure I set up the seam for mm from, uh, for uh, uh, millimeters. And then I add a solid, solidify modifier, well, modifier to this. And if I look at this, you see that there it is, right? So if I hide it, there you go. So it's now all, all on the inside. So that's correct. And I'll go over here and I'll add another modifier. It's called an edge split modifier. And I'll go ahead and I'm going to basically say, actually, no, I'm not going to do that yet. Yeah, I can, I can do that. So let's tab into this and let's control R. I think I'm going to make one, two, three, four, five, six. I think we want to make, let's do six. So I'll make six, uh, six of these. Now let's make uh, four, make four, control R, four. Yeah, we'll do four of these on this side, control R, four on this side, control R, four on this side. So we have all these. And then I want to basically, I need to get the thickness of the wood around here. So I'll do, um, let's turn this off. Not, I, I'm not going to use the edge split for this time because I'm using a cube. If I wasn't doing a cube, I probably would have done an edge split, but I'm just going to go ahead and delete that right now. I'm not going to use it. Control R, and uh, I'll take this and I'll move it all the way to the top like that. And then I'm going to drag it down, and I want to go down the thickness of the material, which is 5.1. So that's minus 5.1. So that's what I want to do is I just use whatever the thickness of this, of this is, is where I'll put that split and then I'll do control R I'll do one right here and again oops control R, I'll slide all the way to the end and then move it out and again once again whatever the thickness of the material is negative 5.1 right there so I've got that one and then of course I need to do this one control R move it all the way to the end and then move it off like this and minus 5.1 so there we have it now because it's a cube it's pretty easy just to select everything and i know that this is the side i want to keep the positive y positive x positive z so i'll say you know mesh symmetrize and i want to go positive z so that i've got the positive z and then i'll hit a and then i've got i've got symmetrize on my cube cube menu I'll do positive Z, positive Y, Z, uh, and then I'll do uh, one, one more time. I'll do A, Q, symmetrize, and we'll do positive X. Now we have all those about what we want. The last thing I'll do is in edge mode, I'm going to come in here, and in my center ones, I'm going to take this one like this, hold the Alt T, and just say, uh, basically select that one and Control X. I want to delete these center ones. So Alt, select, Control, uh, Control X, just dissolves it. Yes. So there we have it. And now we really have our cube. Now the next thing we want to do is we're going to want to figure out, uh, let's, let's, let's have the top and bottom be kind of the same piece. In fact, really at this point, we only need to do three of these. We don't need two. So I'm going to go ahead and, and grab this face and say, that's the positive Y. Let's, let's, find, let's grab the negative Y. And we do select and select linked. Link flat faces those, and I'll just say X uh, faces. And again, I'm going to do the X the same way. Uh, Q, link flat faces, X faces, and we'll do the bottom. Q, link flat faces, X faces. So we have just this. And now I want to split all this off into objects. So I'll go here and Q, link flat, flat faces, and we'll say P by selection. And we'll go to here and say Q linked flat faces and go P by selection. So now we have tab out of this. We have our three pieces. They're all intersecting. 
correctly. Uh, now I'm just going to tab into this, right? So I'll tab into this. I want this top one to be, you know, the, all the way around the top. So it'll be positive here. And I just uh, actually tab. Let's just tab into this. Okay. So the top one is going to be all the way around. So let's go to local mode here. Take a look at what we have. I guess I could mirror this, but I think I can just do this pretty quickly this way. So I'll get rid of this. Uh, two, we'll get rid of this one and then this one. And this one, 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 and this one. So say X, edges, and now we have that. So that means that's that's what that piece is going to look like. Uh, I'll get out of local mode, and we'll come into this one. And now I can tab into this, and you'll see that we have this. It needs to be positive, but this, and this, and that are going to be gone, and that's gone, and that's gone, and that's gone, and that's gone. So I say X, edges. And on that, you'll see what happened there. So that's what that did. Except I have this one right there, X edges. So now I have that. Let's look at what we want to do over here. So this one's coming full on here. So, okay. So this and this. And then I need this and this and this. So X edges. So now we can see that looks like it's right, except for I have this and this and this and this still out there okay and now i need to look at how we're going to do this side piece so this side piece looks like this this side piece looks like that so let's just keep this and go uh in and in get rid of these x edges so that looks like that tab We'll grab, uh, we want that, we don't want that, we don't want that, and we don't want that, or this, or this, X edges. So, sometimes you just got to pull them apart to see what they look like right there. So, I'll undo that. I've got, tab, one, there, 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 X vertices. Okay, so let's look at this. This is positive X, so... A, Q, symmetrize, positive X, negative X, A, Q, symmetrize, positive Z to negative Z. That looks about right. So there's our object. And let's go to this one. We'll do the same thing. We'll just have to say this is uh, A, Q, symmetrize. This is positive Y. To negative y and then a u symmetrize positive z to negative z there you go so there's that yeah so you have that one and then this one i think this one's just this going to be fine the way it is okay so let's tab on these and uh now i just want to basically select all these let's take a look and see what they look like so that looks like it's pretty good so now the next thing i'll do so i can Next, let's go, let's go ahead and, and, and take this, and I'm going to add a modifier, and I'm going to call it uh, the uh, mirror, and that'll put it right there. And this one, add a modifier, and we'll do another mirror. This time we do Y, not X. And this, we'll add a modifier, and we'll do mirror, and this time we do Z. So now we have that. So that works pretty good. And... You know, now, oh, now basically with that mirror, well, I just need to apply these. Apply, not the solidify, just the mirror. And the reason for that is that this flatter needs each object to be separate. So I'll apply this. So let's go ahead and save what we're doing. Okay, so now that we have this done, it's uh, relatively easy to just basically select everything. And we're going to say flatten to SVG outline. So let's go ahead and click on that. There's a cube. So I'm going to call this uh, U O2. Okay. And then flatten SVG outline. And then I'll open up my new favorite program called Inkscape. And I got to say, I'm really impressed with Inkscape. This is the beta version. I don't know if it's the right one to be using, to be perfectly honest with you. But uh, uh, it might be. But there's some cool features in it, that's for sure. So I don't know. Anyway, so let's uh, go file, open. And we just want to go. Yeah, so so we've got these lines in here. And that means that we did not separate our our mirrors. Let's go back and do that. So basically, I have this object. But notice that even though 
we applied the mirror. We didn't separate it. So what I'll do is I'll select, I'll select everything at once. Hit tab and hit A. And then say P, select by loose parts, tab. Okay. And then I just go basically select everything and flatten SVG outline. Use the same, use the same file. Come up in here and say file revert. And there we have it. So there's our, there's our actual object. You can see this is our top pieces are is here and here and then the rest of these are sides and if you look at all the sides are exactly the same <laughs> so that's kind of cool too so uh and if we print this out it's going to be uh it's going to already have the curve you know if you, you know with for instance let's go ahead and just zoom into here take a look see how this tab is just a slight bit larger than this in fact the best way to look at this in inkscape is you select both of these and we'll just turn off uh the uh yeah, turn off the curve so you can see that's it doesn't show you the line view on there. So that's that's how that works. So you can see that how that, that turned out pretty darn nice. And I can select those two and then grab one more. Actually, it's control C, grab this and then grab these two and say edit and uh, paste style. So get it back to there. So anyway, so this this really doesn't need much of anything from from ink state standpoint. I mean, I'm, I'm ready to dump it in the Glowforge and print it out. So that's anyway, that's it. Hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed that. Bye.